us and you motherfuckers do it. I've always been into super heavy fucking metal my whole life. And my old band, I followed them around for about roughly a year. Then they came up, uh, they were looking for a vocalist and I tried out and I'd never sang before in my life. And uh, lo and behold, here I am. And I'm here and I'm not fucking going anywhere. Ozfest 1998. And that was a fucking trip for me. I'd never been to a show that big. I'd never been to any other show in my life. And I figured all metal shows have like fucking, you know, 30,000 fucking people at them. But as it turns out, they don't always do that. I love music. I love music like, like it's my fucking child and my wife. I love music and I'll always be in the music scene no matter what. And bands that are fucking this big inspire me to push the beat this high. But yeah, it was a really good fucking show. Uh, I was young. I was really young. Uh, that was probably one of the first shows that ever inspired me to get into music. Was not in vain. I played guitar for almost my whole life. I'm a lefty. It sucks. I gotta buy expensive ass bullshit guitars. Uh, but all in all, I ended up being a vocalist because I like the freedom of the wireless mic and I like the freedom to run around in the crowd and I like to start the mosh pit and I love, I love fucking crowd interaction. and improved and I'm always searching for a range that I can't hit. I try to have my range from as high as fucking Led Zeppelin to fucking Whitechapel. Like that is how I I want a range. And if I can't get the range then I will practice and practice and practice until I get it. I recently got cool with those guys again. You know, they, we forgave each other for all the dumb shit that was talked on the internet. And uh, I look forward to playing shows with those guys because those guys helped me a lot along the way. And uh, basically, I am where I am because I joined that band. So I'm grateful to those guys. I'm glad they're cool guys and enough to be cool again and hang out. <laughs> Number one band, I will always be with Kleos. They have made me a better musician. Because everybody in the band is my friend. Everybody in the band is a fucking hardworking musician. I consider us professional musicians. We try very, very, very hard to write music that people want to hear and listen to, and we try to put on the best live show we can. Other than that, 
check us the fuck out. If you don't believe me, check us out. When I first started music, the very first band I was ever in, Witness to the Fallen, we used to practice right next to those guys, and they've always been there and supported me. And, uh, you know, they asked me if I wanted to join their band, and I just basically told them, yeah, because, you know, I'm all about helping the total Houston community, the metal scene. I'm trying to bring us all together, and if I can be in 20 fucking bands, I will, because that is unity. Fucking hate. Stop hating. Stop being an asshole. You know what I'm saying? We're all in this together. And if we don't have that fucking closeness, if we're not a fucking family in this metal scene, then it's gonna fucking collapse and die. The future for me is lots and lots and lots of fucking recording. Uh, we've been in the studio, our 10 song album should be out. Been it's super top secret, the album title and the artwork for all that. We're not, that's gonna catch people completely off guard. We've gone uh, with a local artist, uh, Justin from the Circadian Effect. He helped us out with the design that's gonna be printed on the CD. Lay down! It's huge. <laughs> Just in case that was the next question. <laughs> um. That's me bitching everybody in the band. Alright. Alright! <laughs> Gotta go take it.